Merry Christmas, everybody! Uh, it's that time of year when we start thinking about New Year's resolutions and things we're going to do, and a lot of businesses are talking about these great new products that are coming out the next year. And a lot of fiber artists like myself will do Vlogmas on YouTube, and I'm not doing any of it. In fact, I actually, first of all, want to offer you an apology. You know, I kind of started this business on an impulse. I found something that I was good at doing, and I wanted to share that with you guys. And I wanted to be able to fund that hobby, and that's not going very well. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry that I haven't gotten a whole variety of products online for you to choose from. I'm sorry that I haven't been selling tools with which you can use my product with. I'm sorry that I haven't been giving you guys a lot of posts and a lot of info on what's going on. I'm just... I'm sorry that I have not been running this business well. I'm sorry that I haven't been serving you guys well. And I'm also sorry that I'm going to have to cut back even more in 2022. And I guess to justify it, I need to tell you what all I have been doing because I know from the outside you're just like, Girl, what you mean? <laughs> you're not doing anything. How can you possibly cut back even more? Look, I'm just going to tell you the business-related projects that I'm working on because I've actually got a couple of projects that have nothing to do with this business that I've also started. So I'm working on a custom yarn for my sister. Uh, I have been working on a beginner crochet course. I have been kind of trying out all these different social media platforms. You know, Facebook I'm kind of familiar with, so that's the main one I use. I've also tried to learn TikTok. Um, I've tried YouTube a little bit. Um, I'm, at the same time, I'm also trying to do all these different things to build some inventory. Like, I'm spinning some combed tops, I'm working on combing some alpaca to, you know, sell to you guys. Uh, I've also been trying to spin what I've got and make gifts for people because, you know, I don't want the, everything that I make to just be business related. You know, I want to be able to have fun and make people happy too. Um, I'm also growing and spinning cotton and I'm learning how to spin new fibers and I'm constantly, constantly coming up with ideas that all seem so great and I'm just really terrible at making them come to fruition. So yeah, those are all the projects that I'm working on. And that is on top of my responsibilities as a woman. I am married, and that means I have um, responsibilities to my spouse. I also have two children. Uh, one is a toddler who is supposed to be taking a nap, who is just playing around in his crib, so I'm going to have to go get him up in a minute. Uh, I've got an infant that was born this year. Uh, she was... Born back in June, actually. Her name is Georgia. And as a stay-at-home mom, I'm also responsible for taking care of this house. Um, obviously, this business is a huge responsibility. And, of course, I'm responsible for me. You know, I am responsible for my mental and physical health. And I'm not getting exercise. Um... I'm constantly stressed out by everything I have to do, and I've really got to get those things under control. So, you know, once I wrote all that out, I realized how much I have really been trying to do. And that's why I haven't been doing any of it well. That's why you guys don't see much of anything. I've got nothing to show for all this work that I've done. Um, 
I'm so quick to like jump at a new idea without really giving it much thought. Like, ooh, this would be good for the business. Ooh, this would be good for my family. Let's do this. Let's do that. Ooh, I want to try this. And I've been piling a lot more on myself constantly that I really had no business trying to put on myself like that. So I, I'm cutting back. I have to. And here are some of the things I am cutting back, and I am reading off a list, so please forgive. But I am closing my online shop. You will still see products listed, but once April gets here, you will no longer be able to make purchases directly through the shop. Um, however, if you do see a picture of something that you really like, you can let me know via... Um, personal message through Facebook. Um, you can also email me through my website or you can call me. I do believe my phone number is listed. It's listed on my website for sure. I think I've also got it listed on Facebook so you can contact me that way. Just be sure to leave a message and let me know what you're, what you're after. Um... I do want to do a better job of keeping you guys updated with what I am doing. Um, another thing that I am going to be cutting back is on my website, I had an option for custom yarns. That's not happening. Because projects just take a long time, a lot of planning, and I'm not very good at planning things out. And this project that I've been working on for my sister, I have been working on since before Georgia was born. And I'm still not done with it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just cutting back. Those are the things that you'll probably find the most noticeable. I'm also going to be narrowing down my projects. So, I've got to be super disciplined and not buy any more fiber to spin. <laughs> because I've got... Raw alpaca. I've got raw sheep's wool, merino to be exact. Um, I've got a couple pounds of combed top that I need to spin. Plus, I've got some fun fibers that I kind of got for myself, like silk and um, flax that I'm spinning. So, I do want to work on spinning down my stash. And a lot of that is going to go towards building up my inventory. So that's really going to be the biggest thing for me is I'm really going to focus on that inventory. And that way when I do go to sell it, it doesn't look like a barren wasteland. Um, so instead of selling online, I'm going to be making in-person sales. Uh, I tend to be better at that anyway, apparently. Uh, so I've got a couple of local farmer's markets that I might rotate through until I've sold everything that I've made. Um, I'm still going to be working on growing and spinning cotton because one of my big dreams is to be able to produce my own fiber. And I want to produce um, a hypoallergenic option. So that is something I am going to continue to do. I enjoy doing it. And yet every year I learn something new and I get a little bit better at it. So this year will be the last year that I spin from the seeds that I've grown myself because I actually don't know what breed of cotton I'm growing. So after 2022, I will probably switch to Egyptian cotton. But anyways, I'm kind of rambling about that. Um, and I've already committed to this project that I'm working on with my sister. So I've definitely got to continue to do that. Getting, getting close to the end here. Hang in, guys. Um, my husband and I are working on a missionary journey to Japan. So that is also going to take up a lot of time and effort. And I may not even be able to complete some of the projects that I've talked to you guys about uh, because of that. So... You know, that's one of my big projects that's going on in the background. And what I'm going to need you guys to do for me is hold me accountable. Uh, if you see me posting any pictures or talking about something I'm working on, I want you guys to ask me if this is part of my plans for 2022. 
You know, is this really what I want to be doing with my life? Um, and also, I want you guys to get curious. Uh, I also, I really want you guys to feel free to make a post on the Amy Spindle Spun Yarn Facebook page. And let me know what you guys want to see. Um, because... This big project I had in mind, the beginner crochet course that I have told you guys about in the past. Uh, I am currently not working on that anymore because things aren't going well. I want, I don't know if it'll happen this year, but at some point I do want to teach in-person classes so I get that experience under my belt. And that way I can put out a better digital project for you guys. But if there's anything you guys want to learn or you want to see or if you've been looking for a specific type of yarn but haven't been able to find it anywhere, let me know and I will see if I can get it for you in the shop. Remember, I'm not doing custom yarns because I just can't work under that kind of a time crunch. So no custom yarns, but if there's something you'd like to see more of or something you would really be interested in, just let me know. Or if I shoot out an idea about a project, please, please leave a comment and let me know if that's something you actually want. Um, now, with all of this stuff that I'm cutting on back on, uh, there's there are some benefits. Um, hopefully, there will be better communication, which means I will understand you guys better. And I hope that the products that I produce will be better products. Um, Hopefully, I'll be able to actually finish my projects this year. That's going to be a really big one. So, just really, I want to finish a bunch of projects before I take on anything new. Um, hopefully, this will result in increased productivity because I'm not going to be switching from task to task to task as much because I've kind of narrowed it down to like, you know, four big things that I'm doing. So, hopefully, that will increase my productivity. Um, and hopefully by not having so much weight on my shoulders, that will make a better me, which means I'll be a better mom, a better wife, um, a better businesswoman, uh, a better friend. Because, yeah, friendship is another weakness for me. Um, and hopefully this will make everybody happier. You know, I know it'll make me happier in the long run if I cut back, as hard as it is to do. And I'm sure it'll make you guys happier when you see progress, when you see products that you like and enjoy, when you see communication and you feel cared about. You're going to be happier. So that's what I want to do. And I want to serve you guys better. And with that being said, I've still got some major dreams. I want to produce the highest quality luxury fibers for you guys. I want to have classes and products that you can use. I would love to sell knitting needles and crochet hooks and all this stuff. Um, I really want to sell a lot of things that I've made myself. I want to sell spindles and whorls. I'm still dreaming. You know, I've got a lot of things on my sleeve, up my sleeve, things that will be coming sometime off in the future, probably not in 2022, but I'm still dreaming. You know, I'm not giving up. I found at least one way not to run a business. So we'll get there. We'll get there. But yeah, I'm still dreaming. I've got a huge goal of owning a brick and mortar yarn shop. Because who doesn't love to be able to touch a feel yarn? I mean, really. So I want to own a brick and mortar yarn shop. I want to hire mothers, um, especially single mothers who maybe don't have a lot of babysitting options. And I want to have a nursery and a play area for their kids. Uh, maybe a quiet place where kids can come do homework. And I think that would just be so beneficial to so many women because I know that one of the reasons I don't work is because babysitting is a struggle. I don't have very many people that I can trust with my children. And if I did go get a job, I would have to pay for babysitting. And that means that, you know, all the money I earn goes to babysitting. And I want to solve that problem for people one day. 
I also have dreams of owning a farm where I'm growing my own fiber, and that includes both plants and animals. Um, you know, I've just got all these dreams, and I don't know how long it's going to take to get there, but I do know that with y'all's help, anything is possible. So, any tips, tricks, advice, or desires that you have, feel free to let me know. I'll let you know if I think I can do it, if I can work it into my schedule. And I appreciate the help, and I appreciate the feedback. And with all that said, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a Happy New Year. And until next time, happy crafting, and God bless.